Hello everyone. Hope you all doing well and welcome back to our Windows Server 2022 beginners video series on MSFT webcast. In this video, we will see the steps on how to install and configure FTP service on Windows Server 2022. The file transfer protocol is a service that enables files and folders to be transferred between a server and a client system via a TCP IP network. We can use FTP to share files between a local PC and a remote server. The first thing we need to do is open the server manager. Click on Add Rules and Features. Click Next on Before You Begin page. Select the Role Base or Feature Base Installation option and click Next. Select the default server. This is the server where rules should be installed. Click Next. Choose the Web Server box from the Server Rules page. As soon as you choose Web Server, a new window appears. Click Add Features. This will add all the necessary rules and components so you don't have to configure anything else separately. Ensure the Web Server Rule option is selected and click Next. Under Select Features, click Next. We can read brief information about the Web Server Rule. Click Next to continue. Now you should remove all unnecessary checkboxes. Let's clear Web Server checkbox. Scroll down, check only FTP service and IIS management console. Click Next to continue. Verify the installation selections and click the Install button to install the FTP service on the local server. The installation process will take a few moments to complete. After installation is complete, close the wizard window. FTP service is successfully installed. The next step is to create an FTP user and an FTP site. In order to create a new user, click on Tools and select Computer Management. Expand Local Users and Groups and then click on Users. Right click and select New User. Enter a username and password. Clear user must change password at next logon option. Click on create to create new user account name FTP user 1. Click close. Confirm that the user has been created successfully. Close computer management console. So far, we have installed the FTP service and created a user that can upload and download files. However, we don't yet have a folder where user can store these files. Open File Explorer. Access E drive. On E drive, create a new folder named FTP Data. Access FTP Data folder. Again, create a new folder named FTP User 1. It is necessary to create a folder with the username of the user as we are going to configure user isolation settings for FTP. In our case, the folder name is FTP user 1 since our username is FTP user 1. Next step is to create an FTP site. Go back to Server Manager dashboard, click on Tools and select Internet Information Services Manager. Maximize the window, expand server name and click on Sites. Right click the sites and select add FTP site. You will need to enter the name of the site that you are going to create and the physical path where you would like data to be saved. Let me specify the FTP site name test FTP site. Browse to the folder location which we created earlier. In our case, folder location is e colon slash FTP data. Let's click next to continue. Next, we need to configure the IP address and port that will listen to FTP client request. We also need to configure whether to start the FTP site automatically and whether or not we want to use SSL. We will keep the binding values to their default values. Select No SSL Radio button as at the moment we are not going to use FTP with SSL. Configuring SSL certificate settings is necessary if you want to use SSL with FTP. Once you made your choices, click on Next. 
Next, we will need to configure the authentication and authorization settings. In the authentication section, we can select anonymous and basic authentication. We do not recommend allowing anonymous authentication and in this tutorial, we will opt for basic authentication only. In the authorization section, we need to choose who has access to the FTP service. We can select all users or specified roles or user groups after which we can for example block all users apart from the selected one. In this example, we will select all users. Lastly, we need to decide whether users have read or write permissions or both. Select both permissions and click on finish. The FTP site is created successfully. Next and last step is set up FTP user isolation settings. Click on FTP site name. Double click on FTP user isolation. Choose username directory radio button. Click on apply to save the changes. The changes have been successfully saved. We have successfully installed and configured the FTP service on Windows Server 2022. To test FTP server configuration, let's go to our client machine. Open File Explorer and type URL ftp colon double slash 172.18.72.51 and hit enter key to access our FTP server. It will ask for authentication. Type username FTP user1 user's password and click on OK. Now create a new folder name user1. Let's give name user1. Let's copy paste some files and folders to the FTP site. Let me copy these files and folders and let's paste here. Let's go back to our FTP server to check the user data. Access FTP data folder. Open FTP user 1 folder and check if the data is present or not. The answer is yes. The data is available on our FTP server. You can also use third-party FTP client software to download and upload contents from an FTP site. That's all for this video on how to install and configure FTP service on Windows Server 2022. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions and suggestions regarding this video, please let me know in the comments section. Thank you all for watching this video. Have a nice day.